It's a pretty active weather pattern this week. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for clicking on to tonight's Weather Extra. We have two chances for snow in the coming days. One, a very weak disturbance moving in late tonight and tomorrow morning. That should bring some light snow and snow showers to the area. Probably a dusting to as much as two inches. This should not be a big storm system. A more significant storm appears to be in the cards for Friday. Uh, it has the potential in the keyword there, potential, to be the biggest snowstorm we've had in a couple of years. So we certainly want to watch that one. Let's take it one step at a time. A little light snow is approaching from our west tonight. Uh, this should move in probably 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, extending through about mid-morning tomorrow. Light snow and snow showers, a dusting to as much as 2 inches for many towns. And the sun should actually make an appearance by afternoon. Speaking of sun, I captured some fading sun from our old Orchard Beach Pier cam this evening. I captured some of those clouds on the increase. Uh, the sun is setting at... 5 o'clock on the dock, getting later and later with each passing day. Again, a dusting to 2 inches is projected for tomorrow through about midday tomorrow. There may be slightly uh, higher uh, or enhanced snowfall totals heading across Penobscot Bay region in some banding. We'll have to watch that, and uh, of course, Craig will have the latest first thing tomorrow morning. That is that disturbance right in there moving through the Great Lakes and another uh, burst of snow moving into southern New England. Uh, that is our disturbance for late tonight and tomorrow. And our storm for Friday hasn't even formed yet. A lot of folks around the station here have been asking me, Charlie, how much snow are we going to get on Friday? My answer to that is I'm not sure yet. The reason for that, the storm hasn't formed, and we're not exactly sure of its track yet. I can tell you there is a batch of energy making its way up into the Pacific Northwest and another one down in here. They're going to get their act together down in here, and the storm is going to rapidly intensify as it moves, uh, well, south of Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, uh, and heading over toward Nova Scotia. So with this scenario, with this phasing that we talked about yesterday, we, could, we should see a rapidly intensifying storm and probably a big impact here uh, in New England as far as snow and wind goes. This uh, is the potential setup for Thursday and Friday. We have a rapidly intensifying storm south of Cape Cod in Nantucket. Uh, this is run off the GFS model with a storm tracking east of the Gulf of Maine and just south of Nova Scotia. Now, all of you snow lovers looking for the extreme snowfall totals, the highest snowfall totals possible out of this storm, you would want to see that area of low pressure tucked in just a little bit further off to the west. And there are still a few forecast models that indicate that setup. There still is the potential this storm completely moves out to sea as well. So it's still early in the game. We're still three days out. But uh, everything... Uh, every all the data today is pointing at a significant storm and a plowable storm and the time frame will be Friday Friday night and possibly into early Saturday okay hour by hour on storm tracker I want to start out oh seven o'clock tomorrow morning a little bit of light snow again a dusting to as much as two inches notice some of those bands setting up across Penobscot Bay area we'll have to see if those set up uh, for everyone else though brighter skies return by afternoon this is two o'clock with the return to at least a little bit of sun that should send temps back into the 30s so tomorrow looks to be Actually seasonally mild, mid-30s for highs. Then the cold air moves in for tomorrow night. Uh, this is actually 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. Teens and lower 20s for highs. Cold air is the first ingredient you need for a big snowstorm. And again, if this storm tracks the way I think it will, and really bomb out or intensify the way it looks uh, it will, we would see the snow developing on Friday. This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And we would see the wind pick up as well. We'd see some very strong winds. Based on some forecast models like the European model, uh, we would s at least have to entertain the idea of uh, blizzard warnings. That is just one possibility, one of many possibilities here. In fact, I want to show you some of those forecast models. Yesterday we looked at a few, and we were show showing you basically how the GFS was pretty far out to lunch compared to where it is today anyway. Uh, this uh, is initialized, this is GFS initialized this morning around 7 o'clock. Now this is 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Notice that area of low pressure developing off of uh, all the Virginias uh, down towards the Chesapeake Bay region intensifying south of uh, Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, and moving south of Nova Scotia. That would be a pretty good storm around here. We get a decent amount of snow out of that, and we get some strong winds, but not the worst case scenario. Here's the worst case scenario, or those of you looking for the extreme snowfall totals, you would like the European model. Here it is right here, moving in uh, Friday night and into Saturday morning, just a little bit slower than the GFS model, but a pretty intense storm down in the 980s uh, as far as the pressure goes. You would see, uh, with that setup, we certainly have to entertain blizzard warnings because there would be heavy snow along with some very strong gusty winds. Uh, that track is just a little bit further west and a little bit stronger than uh, the GFS here. That right there is the Canadian model. Notice a pretty, oh, right there, is, there's the Canadian model. Just a similar setup, 
general similar track another model right in here and this one is actually the no gaps model actually the no gaps looks to be a pretty good track as well with a lot of precip um, that would be a good snowstorm so as far as snowfall totals I, again this is three days away and anything can happen but here are a few different scenarios this is that gfs model uh, through Saturday here. As far as the precip goes, that puts us right on the border of about an inch of liquid. Uh, fluff that up to a little bit of snow, that would probably be around a foot of snow. Lighter amounts over inland regions and lighter amounts to the north. Again, this is just one scenario. Here's another scenario. Look at this one. This is that European model. That is probably the worst case scenario. And those of you snow lovers looking for extreme snowfall totals, you are in love with this forecast model today because that would be about two inches of liquid that would fluff up to. Uh, Oh, over two feet of snow, so uh, that may be overdone. So we'll have to see what actually uh, materializes in the coming days here. All right, let's bring the screen back so we can all see it. There we go. Uh, that's 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. So Friday's storm is probably the only real storm we need to keep a real close eye on in the coming days. Uh, again, light snow moves in late tonight and tomorrow morning, brighter by afternoon. Thursday looks okay. Sunny skies, lower 20s. That major snowstorm is possible on Friday. We'll watch the track of it for you. The weekend looks okay. I think we're going to see a little snow, or we could see some snow lingering into Saturday morning, but the trend will be for brighter skies by afternoon. And Sunday's probably the best portion of the weekend with temps just a tad warmer, that wind starting to wind down as well. Uh, the next disturbance on Monday at this point appears to be a mix changing to rain. So here we are. It is, uh, well, it's Tuesday evening. We're three days away from our big storm, at least our potential big storm. A lot can still happen. So again, I'd urge folks to stay tuned in the coming days. I'll have some new data to look at tonight, and I'll have the latest information coming up on News 13 at 11. Craig will have the, first, the latest first thing tomorrow morning as well. I'll see you then. Have a nice night.